So this right here will be a video process of how I clean window air conditioners. Um, decided I should do one of these just because. This is a modern piece of junk unit. Um, I don't know when it was made. I know it's fairly recently because I remembered seeing these at Snervy Mart. And it looks like they put double-sided tape on the side of it. Which is kind of interesting how this unit's set up. The person that owns this, she's a very clean and tidy person who doesn't really like messes. But this unit is kind of a meh. Um, there's tape over top of some of the parts on this front grill because she said it rattled like crazy. So can't, doesn't really seem like that. Ever, this is like plain scotch tape and it's already going to be like, it's going to be a pain in the ass to get all the stickiness off of it. She does keep the filter cleaned. To a point. I don't think this has been cleaned yet this year. Let's have a look at her specification sheet over here. This was made in 2019, December 2019, so probably sold in 2020. Once again, all this tape. Big double-sided sheet here. It goes right over to barcode too. That barcode doesn't really mean much. Try to get this off. All this tape. This is a 5000 BTU. I think it uses R32. This is kind of in the start of the R32 era. I can tell by the flammable light label. Prices are somewhere on there. I don't know if I'm going to look at it up close or not. This has a GMCC compressor in it. It even says on the compressor that this system is using R32. If I can get this off of here, that would be nice. This double side tape is a menace. I'm not going to be surprised if that Frigidaire I sold her is going to do the same thing. I wish I got a video of that Frigidaire. That thing was cool. It's a, it was a, I think a 2008 model um, Frigidaire. No, it was a 2005 Frigidaire and it had the veritable speed, well, veritable speed fan motor on it or whatever. Which had, which is actually like at 80 some speed, it would go anywhere between 11, uh, 10 to 99 was what was the speed selection on that thing. There's a little bit of every type of tape ever in existence on this, on this thing. It's like I can't say I've ever seen like I've seen tape on the side panels. You'd expect tape to be on the side panels. What she actually used on the side panels were. Um, I don't know what. And this is like double stick tape. This, at first I was thinking, oh, I think that might be alien tape, but it doesn't feel like it. Because alien tape's a bit thicker. And that stuff's a bit easier to get off than this. I guess I'm, that right there, it's either going to get scrubbed off or that's going to just be left on as a part of the unit. That's on. But this unit has no drain hole. Absolutely disgusting. She has an Arctic King that's a bit older than this that has the same problem. But oh dear, that is that's just nasty right there. This unit has never been taken apart and cleaned the proper way with a garden hose. What brand of fan motor do we have? Some chintzy no name fan motor. It's a Weaves a Medea product. I'm not sure. Doesn't really classify what it is. Got some ghetto repair here on the side panel curtain. Should properly be repaired with duct tape, I think. So, fix that. One panel off. On these, I can't remember if you remove the top bar. If you clean these, I don't think so. Remove the front knobs. I might actually be able to put the front row on. I mean, leave this piece on underneath the front grill and have this affixed to the unit. This right here is a part of the front grill. I personally find that a bit better in terms of cleaning and servicing. Once again, we've got the filter. Which this we're going to take inside of the sink and rinse out. Let's pull the front grill off of this because I have the tools quickly. This right here is some of the leftovers from the frigid there. It's just a few washers and some screws. And these are the screws that hold on the front grill. 
Um, the front grill and those fridge there's, oh, and the thermostat clips on the digital units. I run the cords out through the bottom by the, by the plug. So, that's done, I guess. Let's go over here and get a screwdriver of sorts. Got one. Let's pull off this front cover. Let's have a look at this. Something I noticed that was a bit weird is the front grill kind of underlips the top bracket. So, a bit interesting. It's not moldy in here. This is a good stage where I would say take it apart and clean it. So, I'm going to clean it now. It has the impeller fan on it, which is crazy out of cloth, if you can't tell. Bearings are still good. So, I appreciate that. I have no idea what that's there for. Just got a screw going in there to, oh, goes in there. So, ugh. A bit weird how they did that. Let's move all of this stuff out of the way. Case has been unscrewed. Ugh, got the, the stupid mystery sludge in here. I hate this. This stuff is freaking gross. I hate it. I hate it so much. And we got some leaves. More of that mystery sludge up here. Oh, damn, that makes me want to puke. Four-wing fan blade. Here's a better look at the motor. It's a welling fan motor, as we discover. Caution, it might explode. R32. Oh, oh this unit. I, I, I've seen some units with some bad mystery sludge. I don't think this is the worst. My my childhood Frigidaire is pretty bad. Oh, damn, this is... This is nasty. Man, this makes me want to freaking puke. Damn. Well, at this point, I'm going to kind of stop. Well, the styrofoam piece up here separates, so we're going to pull this off. We're cleaning, obviously. I'm going to get that sprayed off with some bleach and stuff. Um, I'm more worried about getting... Oh, I got that mystery sludge all along in there, too. Coil's nice and clean on here. The back coil, it's caked. So that's going to be... That's going to need a lot of cleaning. I, If I had coil cleaner, it's gonna, it would be an easy process to spray it on. Rin, uh, rinse it off, and it'll be fine. But I don't have coil cleaner, so I have to go in there with a the hose and spray it out. Um, also, I'm probably going to get a drill out here and drill a drain hole in it so we can get water drainage. I'm not too worried about drilling it like right where everything comes out here. I always put it right underneath the slinger ring of the fan because that's always the lowest point of the unit. And it guarantees the same with this one. Prop, so right here, maybe over here just so it's in the center of that. So I'll get that drilled out so we have a hole there. I'm going to check to see if there's any coils there, which there isn't, during pretty much the whole duration of that area. So let's get back to this. After a long, hot, and humid day, this unit finally cycled off. Good work, modern piece of junk. And it just cycled back on. So, I don't have the dry pod with me, so I can't really have a stable representation, but it's going to be somewhere around there. Now to make this a bit bigger. There we go. So the drain hole's in place for the time being. I need to go get my tripod so I can actually show a bit more of this part of the restoration project. But, well, I have to. 
or, or whatever. Um, it's at a different location. It's at a storage type place. And might as well take one of these other units over for storage. So I'll take this large frigid suck, I guess, this newer one. Because I'm most likely going to get that one working first, I think, because don't feel like dealing with these ones the Chinese control boards. I've actually had a look at this uh, Frigidaire before. I know this is a fairly newer one. It's a 2019 model. So, March of 2019. So I think it was 03 2019, whatever. But, it exists. Let's go put this in storage and grab the dry pod. Well, we're at the storage building. Um, let's get this out. There's air conditioner. It actually gets stored here. To find some room for it. And then we'll get on our way out and go work on the other unit. So the most important part is getting the tripod. There's a bit of ghetto goodness. Because I've not had time to go get some coin cell batteries for the remote for this garage door opener, I'm using the code pad I have. It works. Hopefully soon I'll get the genie repaired. I just have to find, find a board for it. But there'll be a video of this eventually. If it's not already been posted before this one. And it doesn't close all the way because I still have the extension cord running under the door. So the first thing that I'm doing now is we're just going to get this whole unit cleaned here. Um, and move these tools out of the way. Probably shouldn't be using an impact gun for this, but uh, as long as you don't strip everything out, you're fine. Requires lots of control. And yes, I'm using ceiling fan switch cups when I store all my screws on these projects. But, yeah, you get it. Maybe, maybe not. Um, I think just for tonight, we're just going to worry about getting this cleaned off. I'm going to worry about the cases some other time. I'm going to get that R32 warning sticker off of here, possibly. Because these are just kind of annoying, and they just kind of go to shit after a while. Um, so... I wonder if there's a way, if I could figure out how to balance this, I would... I don't like how that's running. So, let's get this thing rinsed off. Let's get some water going and work on one of these. Get this in the dry pod. Here we go. Um, had a fight squirrel. Lighting out here is going to be kind of crap because it is night now. And let's see how much of the stupid sludge just pours out of this thing. So... Let's see how that's looking on the camera. Is that far away enough that it doesn't really do anything stupid? So, got my Aldi garden hose. Sludge is like, ah, built up in here. Oh, that's just the insulation shit. All the way down the coil, the water is coming off of this before it looks like diarrhea. I don't want to spin that fan blade too much because that will. more of that diarrhea water up in there. It's not too bad, so it's cleaning up fairly well. This is a piece of foam. Ew. 
Not, not as bad as I thought. Let's at least get some of this. Stupid again, not not coming off, and I may tell it to do. Well, that's happening with went rinse the base pan off. You got a little bit of a vent underneath the fan motor, which is interesting. So it thinks it's a fridge off. They're just so loose. Well, I'm gonna get some cleaner on this and let's see what happens. For this, we're just going to be using LA's Totally Awesome, or Luz, Totally awesome -y. and this should hopefully whack away at some of the stupid corroded shit that's on this so I don't have to scrub. The foam isn't nearly as bad, so I don't think I have to use the bleach cleaner. There is a counterpart of this cleaner that I am using that has blee action in it, which that works a lot better. On, on any mold and just absolutely obliterates the mold. Because the mold on these things, it's kind of a safety hazard if you run these things and you're breathing in all that mold. Um, and I want to make sure the kind lady that owns this unit, I don't think she would like mold. She has two young children. And last thing I would want to hear is um, my son had mold poisoning or something. It sounds horrendous to think about. So, let's see what that can do. It might need some scrubbing. Um, not really too worried on the outside part. This isn't a restoration because this unit's going to be back probably next year and for another clean because it's going to be dirty again. Oh, look at that. That cleaned up perfectly. I didn't even have to scrub or anything. Little dirt pile that was in here by the styrofoam, that's gone. Okay, so. And by the way, this stuff does not thread coils or doing it anything stupid. That's one of the reasons why I use this cleaner. Because this stuff is safe to use on coils. Um, so if I accidentally leave it in here where it's so wet, it's fine. This thing should not have bitter, uh, fan litter there in the after I'm done with it. I'm going to rinse this coil out too. From the back. This, this coil should hopefully be thin enough that all the stupid crap that's in there falls out of it. Coil loops on the outside of these modern units, it's just 
it's comical how thin they are. My first window unit I ever owned was a 80 Spetters air temp. I actually have a unit. I don't have the original one, but I have a unit almost exactly like it. And I can actually show that one off sometime and how it how it is. I might actually have some videos that I am. I used to be installed in my bedroom for a bit over here before I put the cross in there because typically compressor is more works a lot better. It's getting a bit dark out, so I think we'll be done with cleaning this. Um, we'll move to the front grill and see if we can get that cleaned up, I guess. I, I, I don't know. Um, looks good enough for now. And we'll tip this little sludge and stuff drain out of it, because that's always the issue. And then... Probably blasted a little bit more. But I am aware, keyboard warriors who know a lot about HVAC, it's not a good idea to be tipping these units on its side, and also because this is a cheap unit, I might bend the coils. I've done probably over 20 units like this. These modern Chinese 5K, 8Ks, I've even a few 10Ks where I've used the same exact cleaning method, and I've not had any issues yet. Um, so, I'm not worried. This isn't a problem. So this unit's gonna sit here and dry for a little bit. Um, probably come back to it in the morning when we have more sunlight. I might move it over towards where the sodium vapor lamp is. And we're gonna go over there, we're gonna rinse off the grills. The side panels look clean, so I can probably do those, and then the, um, the filter I'm going to clean in the sink in my basement. So I forgot, damn it, I forgot about the case. I still have the case over here. We're going to worry about that a bit later. The front grill, that looks like it should be fairly easy to get cleaned up quickly. So we're going to work on that. Trust me, if I, if I had the lights and stuff out here, and if my garage door wasn't broken, I could be able to open the door and the lights from inside would shine over there. Um, I doubt that light would do any work, but it's there. Um, so we'll just have to deal with the sodium vapor light, which is, it, it, it's good enough. It's a security light. <laughs> so, once again, we're going to have a quick look at this, this thing. If I see any sights of mold on it, I might as well hit it with the bleach cleaner. Actually, I'll only do it if it, nothing comes out, and it looks like it should be fairly, fairly good. And we'll get the backside first, because this is where it's already kind of nasty. Well, if I can get the stuff to spray the right way. It's already kind of nasty. That's on there. Let's get this rinsed off. This might be a bit fun. Oh, let's pray. I better get a driveway off over there. Because things don't like to sit on this crate. So that's just soaking with cleaner. The dry pod can go over here. appears to be a slightly different model so it's not going to work but you can see
It's nice to see that they're still making units with this grill. Growing up, I had a unit of this form factor under the Keystone name. It had a plastic base pan and a Retchy compressor. Very fond memories of that unit. That thing came with us for um, several houses we lived in. I still have that unit, thankfully, and I'm happy it still exists. It's a modern piece of junk, but a very special piece in my collection. And that's existed far before any of the fans I ever owned. Well, maybe a few months or so, or a year, I don't know. 2012 model, so that means I clutched her as clutching in 2013. But that sounds about right. Get a towel or something to wipe off the top. See, there is a bit of dirt staining on there. So this looks fine. We'll set this aside. I guess now we'll start working on the case. Actually, before we work on the case, let's get this thing here. This is the styrofoam piece. It's just a bit dirty, but we'll, you know, we'll put the um, I'll put the normal cleaner on it just to save me from getting some of the bleach stuff down the road. And I'm apparently cutting corners now, so maybe I should get the bleach stuff. So the wiring diagram is there. And it says, do not remove styrofoam. Well, I kind of have to in order to get it nice and clean. Then the thing doesn't mold up and become a health hazard. Break your rural China. Or Medea or whoever the frick makes this. Some, some company in China. And we are using the bleach. There's some pretty bad mold spots under here, especially right there. I am not cutting any corners. I want this thing to be somewhat healthy. The last unit I did, it was in a smoker's house, and they ran it consecutively for several years without cleaning. So it kind of definitely needed to be cleaned. I don't know why the camera's facing all the way down here, but it is. Be a nice long video, I guess. Um, let's, styrofoam disintegrated. The wiring diagram on these is pretty straightforward. I think I have an actual printout of a wiring diagram for one of these units somewhere that I can refer to if needed. So, no big deal. And the wiring on these units is just so basic. It's probably not really... Um, it probably doesn't even really need a wiring diagram. Now we're going to clean the chase. I mean case. But this right here, a lot of the stuff on it is kind of sludged and kind of on. Get 
this stuff on here. Good. That is so satisfying when you spray that stuff on to like the dirt and it just comes right off. Cough. Okay, not bad. Not bad, I would say. the inside of the unit. This one here is pretty nice, but these typically fill up with mold. And because I have the bleach cleaner over here, there is a bit of the normal stuff, but we'll hit it with this. Should be done with the cleaner, so I can set those there. Bring those inside. That's clean. This case, uh, this unit has literally the same case as this little Frigidaire that's sitting next to me. Except this actually appears to be slightly smaller than the Frigidaire. Wow. Um, so I guess we're going to wait a little bit. Um, probably get this thing reassembled tonight, maybe. So, I have the unit somewhat put back together, so let's put the front cover on. But, let's see how this thing runs. Uh, we'll first start the fan up on low fan. Because fan does hit somewhere. Special just 
just a GMCC rotary and as I throw my fingers up against this thing. I might have to stir it in. That's a dismal. The air conditioner is the running. The side panels look a bit dirty, but I'm not going to worry about it. I've seen way worse. And exposure on camera, I have no idea what that's about. It's probably been that for quite some time because I wasn't checking on the camera.
Well, time to clean the filter, and then I guess it's done for tonight. So, before I can go um, cleaning the filter, this hose over here was left on. And this thing leaks like crazy, so I probably uh, wasted about a dollar's worth of water. All the pressurized water just leaks out of the valve. Very professional. Well, let's get this cleaned now. Um, it's the last thing we really got to do before finishing this up, so. Get these more DLAs. Totally awesome -y. No idea what this spot right here is, but it exists. Ow. So, I guess I'm officially finished with this. Probably one of the longest videos on my YouTube channel, but I felt like it was worth it. So it has all this sticky stuff over the filter, but after I slide this in, this thing's clean and ready to go. All well, that dirty crap laying in the bottom of it, like how it was. So, it's ready to get reinstalled, I guess, at some point. I guess it'll be on to the next one after this. <laughs>